Hey everybody, uh, this is Joe Hildreth and my son Zachary, and welcome to my heat. And for my YouTube friends, um, well, you, you know us. So uh, it's been a while since we posted uh, really any new videos about what we've done with the machine. The machine is running. We've cut a couple projects. You can go to the website and look at them, and uh, you'll see we cut a plaque and, and made a pretty fancy spice rack for Melissa for all her loving loving patience with us in this project and all the money that we've laid out on it. But I do want to talk about what we've done. Um, we've added a cut table, and here you'll see that uh, we've cut uh, T-slots in it. We've added fences, and we've created some hold-down clamps. We've added a dust collector uh, and brush to the router. So the uh, vacuum sits in a hole right there on top. Maybe Zach can point that out right right up through here. And then uh, that sort of keeps the dust down. Does actually does a very, very good job. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we've done early on, we thought that we'd try to keep everything as condensed as we could. So we built this computer rack uh, to hold everything. And originally we had a monitor-keyboard combination in there. And what we discovered was that it didn't pull out far enough, so when we went to zero the machine, it was just in the way. So instead, we've uh, built this monitor stand that you see right there. It's a piece of nipple and a pipe flange, and it's welded to the bottom bracket of an existing monitor. Um, my friend Pastor John Johnson uh, was kind enough to make that up for me. Zach uh, painted it all up and attached it and got everything going there. The, uh, so you'll see that there's a drawer that has a keyboard still and so you can still operate the machine from the keyboard now there are other things here that we can do so you'll get an opportunity to see it run we'll have Zach run it a little bit you see the machine is fairly peppy uh, I think it's traveling at about 210 inches a minute uh, so that's pretty good and one of the things that I do want to show you um, these brown things that you see in the back they call these uh, energy chains or E-chains. Sometimes they're called dragon cables. Uh, the guy who designed this one calls it a dragon cable. But you see here the uh, cables run into that. And we'll have Zach run, uh, run this so you can see how this works. So you see that chain will expand. And then when he runs it the other way, you'll see that uh, it folds up, but it doesn't fall in on itself. So if he runs it all the way, you see it's just hanging straight there. So that keeps the, uh, keeps the uh, uh, cables all, all nice and neat. Um, we were hanging them from the ceiling. That uh, turned out to be a real pain because they were hanging from rubber bands, and the rubber bands would break, and we'd have wires laying all over the place. And, and back here you can see where we have some of the cable management going. It's, uh, it's, it's on its way. <clears throat> A shelf over here, another energy chain, and you'll see this one works the same way. Folds. Folds up, won't fall in on itself. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do, uh, we have more things to wire. We have a a uh, closed loop um, controller to put on the router so that we can cut plastics without melting them and we can take light cuts on aluminum. But before we do that, this side here you see where everything's exposed, a panel. We're going to make a panel to go there, um, cover that stuff up, and leave, uh, leave some rubber bungs or grommets in there for the cables to pass through. Eventually, we plan to... On this side over here, we're going to add machinist drawers over here, so we got a place to put tooling and that sort of stuff. In the back, we'll do uh, power, and then, of course, we'll, we'll dress the machine and some trim and stuff like that. But that's where we're at. Um, like I said, we have cut a couple projects on it, and I encourage you, if you're interested, go take a look at uh, myheap.com. Go to the CNC stuff, the KRM X01 pages, and look for KRM um, projects, and you'll see the two that we've done there. So I appreciate uh, you guys taking the time to watch this video. And if you're building one of these machines, uh, this has been an, uh, an excellent, fun project. And I tell you what, to the dads out there who have uh, teenagers, this is a great way to spend some time with your son or your daughter if she's mechanically inclined. 
uh, and just get a chance to bond with them, um, you know, spend some time. So it's, it's, uh, it's multifold. So um, that's all I got. Uh, have a blessed day, and uh, we'll talk to you later.